Today we need to get into the label being protested so much that there is a petition going around and what is happening with that. We need to get into people making comments about Jackie Chan saying homophobic things and what that is about. And then we have Spotify sort of discrediting and removing Jungkook. So you don't think it's safe to say hit or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumplings, peace, bling, bug merch, and let's go. There's a lot of confusion online. I understand the frustration. Let me first lead with that because I think it's extremely frustrating when an artist such as Jungkook puts in a lot of effort and to make a song and to make the original song and then all of the views of that song goes into a remix instead of the original. It's even quite odd as a viewer and as fans to see a remix do better than the original. So what am I talking about today and which Jungkook song? This is for the song standing next to you. Obviously Jungkook did his original rendition of it and then there was a remix with Usher. Apparently online and on Spotify the Usher remix was taking all of the views from the original. So however many views allegedly that the original had, it was all given to the remix and credited towards that. I can imagine that's frustrating, right? Like that's not even just frustrating for the fans. I imagine that even if Jungkook were to go on Spotify, he'd be like, what happens to all the views to my song? So naturally the fandom did what the fandom does and they decided to trend and tag and message Spotify to let them know about this mistake and ask them to fix it. I did find something frustrating with how people have chosen to go about the sort of protest and the anger. First off, they definitely tagged Hybe as well and said that the label needs to make sure that they are protecting the artist this is intellectual stuff and blah blah blah. I 100% get that but you have to understand with the company a lot of people's jobs are not like just one job and this is where I get upset because people don't understand how the world works are getting upset and this is just stupid because there is someone who probably does handle submissions to Spotify and getting a song on Spotify and whatever doing that stuff. However, is that a full-time job? No, that job takes like an hour at most. So after the staff or whoever submits and does whatever they need to do for Spotify, they just go about the rest of their day. A company would likely give this person 50 million other jobs. And why am I saying this? Because a lot of the complaints and attacks towards the label and towards Spotify have asked people within those companies to do their job, saying that these people need to do their job because other accounts are getting credit for views that should be just junk hooks. Again, I understand the frustration. However, this is not any specific person's job to sit there and monitor the views and do all that 24 seven just because some of these people sit there and they have a lot of time to just sit there and refresh the views and look at the numbers and watch it like go up and down even slightly and do that does not mean that an employee and someone who has 50 other million responsibilities is going to have the time to sit there and also do that. Why on earth would a company pay someone to have that job? That job doesn't make any money, that job really doesn't do anything. So yes, you can tweet and ask for it to be fixed. Don't tweet and demand that people need to do their job properly. Don't tell them how to do their job properly because they are doing their job and it's insulting to anyone who works in the company who is working really, really hard to sit there and read comments like they're not doing their job. Like imagine if you got a question wrong on a test and then someone's just trending on Twitter saying how stupid you are and that you didn't study properly. Like you don't need to hear that. They already made a mistake. They're likely aware of it at this point. Don't attack their job. So I don't know how these sorts of things happen. I don't know how a company ends up removing a video or views of a video and then putting it somewhere else. I don't know how that would happen. However, it seems that sometimes these glitches do happen and they probably do happen to all sorts of different artists and not just Jungkook. As always, a lot of people do tend to take things very far. I was even more shocked to hear about how many people decided to take the Zionism claims towards the label and push it towards a whole new level that it should never be on. So what am I talking about today and what is going on? Well, apparently there is a petition that has been created with thousands of signatures and it's asking Hype to sign this petition. And the petition is basically asking for the step down or the removal of Scooter Braun. And as always, I feel like these things are going too far. Now, will the label will remove their CEO. There are many reasons as to why a label could do that or a big company might remove their CEO. But is it easy? No, because if they wanted to remove their CEO, they can't remove the CEO over the claims that are being made. First off, even in court, if they were to just ask Scooter Braun like, oh, do you condone people dying? His answer is obviously going to be no. And even if he did believe it. However, I don't believe he does. Firing someone or forcing them to step down over something like a political belief or even a religious belief is discrimination and against the law, meaning he would have a huge lawsuit against the company. So they can't do that. So I find the petition 
to be very tedious and very stupid. The attempt to ruin someone's life because of what exactly? Like, even if you did believe the horrible things that you were saying, why take it to this point? Why does it bother these people that much? And don't tell me it's because of genocide when the majority of the people who are attacking the CEO and saying these awful things other than this scenario have never talked about genocide or whatever is going on over there. So they don't care. They just want them to step down. If this bothers you that much and there's this much hatred towards a single person and you feel the need to do this, then I feel like there needs to be some psychological evaluation. And what's interesting is the petition that is written, every single claim in there is all just hearsay. This is not anything that has been proven. And it's interesting because if you have to use claims like he allegedly did this, he apparently did this, and then make a petition over that, you have no proof and you're trying to take someone down. This is someone's life. I don't understand how you can feel okay. I don't understand how you can feel like karma won't come back after you for literally attacking someone and their livelihood. No matter what you think of them, no matter if this is a terrible, terrible person, to attack someone's livelihood who probably has a family and all this stuff, karma will come after you. There's a reason why no matter how much I am upset at someone or a creator online or any public figure, I have never tried to attack someone. I've never said anything because it's just not good karma. It doesn't make a situation better and I really do think that these things come back to you. There has been a lot of claims online about some crazy wild things. I feel like the fandom sometimes likes to start drama or like to send hate just because they have nothing else to do. But also I really can't even explain why because I think every explanation doesn't really fully explain why each person thinks a certain way. Every individual person has a specific reason why they like the specific K-pop star that they do, so every reason is going to be different. But apparently it was announced and very much celebrated that a company called Sim Invest, which is an investment company, they're kind of like an app where you can invest in stocks and stuff and it's like over there in Indonesia. They announced that they were going to be partnering with V and none other than Jackie Chan. It's absolutely crazy to think an icon like Jackie Chan and an amazing K-pop idol who is also an icon in this generation coming together creating this amazing thing. Both super wealthy, both super iconic and are perfect for this message of this investment app. Any single celebrity or idol who decides to work with any BTS member, no matter how iconic, will get some backlash and will get old stuff dug up about them. Now I want to preface before I get into it that obviously as someone part of the LGBT community, I don't love the idea when someone doesn't allegedly support the community. However, everyone is entitled to their opinion and their specific beliefs. And if you were to put any single person under a microscope the way we put celebrities under a microscope, there are going to be things that people disapprove of and people who don't like and whether that is something that is against the LGBT community or whether that is something against a different political belief. And as of currently, we still can't confirm how legit this claim is. So let me explain real quick. It was believed that Jackie Chan actually disowned his daughter for being gay. And I do want to specify again, this is a rumor not confirmed. There is no evidence that specifically confirms that he actually did that. And that's extremely important because the claims that are being made about him are based off of this rumor that has not been confirmed. So people were saying that Jackie Chan is homophobic and that he likely probably made some comments towards V backstage because of people believing that V is also a part of the LGBT community. Now, first off, we don't even know if V is a part of the LGBT community. And second of all, we have no idea whether this rumor of Jackie Chan and his daughter is even real. So there were a lot of people online after these comments reporting other comments that were claiming that Jackie was homophobic without any proof that he actually was. And I would find it very interesting if someone who was such a big public figure, someone who has been around all around the world and someone who is extremely successful and, and met so many different people would be against something like an LGBT person. Because Jackie Chan is educated, he's smart, he's gonna be aware of the fact that people in that community don't really have a choice other than to be in that community. It's not like they could pick otherwise. And if they could, why wouldn't they? If Jackie Chan were to denounce his daughter and push her away from all of his wealth and all of the amazing things that Jackie Chan can offer his daughter, then wouldn't his daughter just square up and say, okay, I'm straight now. And then if she's continuously still saying that she's gay and obviously she doesn't have a choice, and I highly doubt Jackie Chan would not be aware of that. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.